Hi, everyone. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce the recipient of this year's Alliance for Aging Research Claude Pepper Award for Advancing Healthy Aging. This award was established to honor a Democratic member of Congress who is leading the way for policies encouraging medical research, innovation, and care to benefit Americans as they grow older. Supported by the Claude Pepper Foundation, this award is named for the Honorable Claude Pepper, who fought tirelessly in both the U.S. House and the Senate to help those in need, both in terms of health care and as a supporter of key civil rights legislation during the 1960s. As chair of the House Select Committee on Aging and later the Committee on Rules, he sought to strengthen programs for older adult and disabled Americans, including Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Through the Claude Pepper Foundation, its center, and related policy arms, the Congressman's legacy lives on and is dedicated to research on aging, alternatives to long-term care, and other issues. This year's recipient of the Claude Pepper Award is Senator Chris Van Hollen. Senator Van Hollen started his time in public service as a member of the Maryland State Legislature, where he became known as a tenacious advocate for Marylanders and someone who was unafraid to take on powerful special interests on behalf of working people. In 2002, he was elected to represent Maryland's 8th Congressional District. In the House of Representatives, Congressman Van Hollen served as a member of the Democratic leadership and was elected by his colleagues to be the ranking member of the House Budget Committee, where he fought to protect Social Security, Medicare, and other vital interests. A tireless advocate for the people of Maryland, Senator Van Hollen has also become known for working hard to find common sense solutions to difficult national issues. In January of 2015, he released a comprehensive plan to address the problem of growing inequality in America and provide a blueprint to build an economy that works for everyone, a goal he has continued to fight for in the U.S. Senate. The Alliance extends its gratitude to Senator Van Hollen for his leadership on passage of the American Rescue Plan, which added substantial funding for the Older Americans Act the Elder Justice Act, and provided much needed support for nursing facilities to improve vaccination rollout and infection control. We applaud his passionate advocacy to address COVID-19 vaccine equity issues for people with disabilities and communities of color, and his efforts to combat COVID-19 disinformation and protect trust in our nation's regulatory approval processes. The Alliance joined Senator Van Hollen in supporting the administration's American Jobs Plan and Americans' Families Plan. These proposals include landmark proposals for home and community-based services and paid leave that would improve the lives of mil millions of older Americans and their family caregivers. Lastly, we salute your longstanding successful advocacy for substantial funding increases at the National Institutes of Health, including the National Institute on Aging. These investments give hope to millions of older adults living with Alzheimer's disease, cancer, and heart failure that there may one day be cures. Senator Van Hollen, it is an honor to be with you today and to present you with the Claude Pepper Award for Advancing Healthy Aging. Well, Tom, uh, thank you for that very warm introduction um, and your kind words. Uh, most of all, uh, thank you for your leadership at the Claude Pepper Foundation. Uh, and to you and other members of the board and to President uh, Sue Peshen, uh, and the entire Alliance for Aging Research uh, family uh, for what you do every day, uh, for older Americans, uh, for advancing uh, critical medical research, and I'm honored to receive an award uh, in the name of Claude Pepper. And thank you and the Alliance for all the good work that you do in his name. Thank you so much, Senator. So given your current leadership on promoting policies that encourage wider access to COVID-19 vaccines um, for people with disabilities and communities of color, what do you think are some of the barriers that need to be addressed to improve health equity as we age? Well, certainly uh, 
COVID-19 and the pandemic uh, exposed lots of uh, fault lines uh, within our uh, society. It clearly uh, impacted communities of color, disability community, and of course, um, aging Americans uh, were most vulnerable of all uh, to uh, COVID-19. Um, and so you know, we really have to learn some lessons. In the short term, uh, I was pleased to uh, support and really fight for the American Rescue Plan. You mentioned some of the provisions of that plan. Other provisions included uh, a dramatic increase um, in vaccine production and distribution. Uh, so that we could get more of the vaccine through community health centers uh, to underserved uh, populations. And uh, another big part of the Build Back Better agenda is to provide for community-based home health care opportunities uh, to give uh, our aging Americans, older Americans, uh, alternatives uh, to institutions. So those are a couple things. The, the last thing I will mention is something that you're all very involved with with Alliance, which is uh, boosting our investment uh, in medical research. And I am pleased uh, that uh, we are going to significantly boost uh, the budget at the NIH. And also uh, had a chance to meet with the president and other bipartisan members of the House and the Senate months ago to discuss the ARPA-H uh, plan, mm -hmm. President Biden's vision to also just deploy more resources and get more uh, cures and treatments uh, to the American people more quickly. So thank you all for your efforts uh, in that regard. These are some of the lessons I think we all learned uh, during this pandemic. Um, Senator, if we're fortunate we get to live long lives and experience the joys and changes that come along with that. Um, what have you learned from your parents and other family members about healthy aging and, and how has that impacted your life? Well, my parents were great role models in that regard. They uh, remained uh, active um, and engaged. And so uh, my view is that older Americans are really probably our greatest untapped resource. Uh, first of all, we need to make sure that uh, we defeat ageism and age discrimination. Um, people should be able to, to work and thrive in the workplace for so long as they choose. Uh, and after people retire, uh, we need to put their talents to use uh, for those that are interested in remaining engaged. And I find that's true virtually of everybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've been very active, for example, in the state of Maryland, supporting organizations like Inner Ages, uh, which uh, tries to, you know, partner older Americans with their wisdom and experience uh, with younger uh, people, um, whether it's through tutoring or mentoring or whatever it may be. Thank all of you um, who are part of making sure uh, that we have a society um, that recognizes the, the continuing important contributions of older Americans. Well, thank you, Senator, for your efforts. Um, Claude Pepper once said, the mistake a lot of politicians make is in forgetting that they've been appointed and thinking they've been anointed. Now that does not apply to you. You're trying to bring back compromise that so many people think is no longer evident in, in, in our Congress. But how are you successful at bridging uh, different parties and different philosophies and while others aren't? Well, I think uh, Claude Pepper uh, identified a huge potential job hazard for members. <laughs> Uh, Congress, um, I am pleased to say that um, between my family and my constituents, uh, they, they keep my feet firmly planted uh, on the ground. Um, I am pleased um, over my years in the House and the Senate to have been able to forge bipartisan agreements on things like uh, increasing our investment uh, in critical uh, medical research, uh, like helping uh, families uh, who have uh, you know, kids with disabilities uh, or other family members with disabilities. So, you know, we, we, we'll, we can all have our disagreements. That's part of a healthy uh, democracy, but uh, I, I do try to look for opportunities uh, for common ground. So I think you succeed. Well, all of Maryland and certainly all of the nation uh, is very privileged and, and better off having you in the Senate. So please keep it up. Um, really appreciate everything that you're doing. 
congratulations on this much deserved award. We wish you the best in, in your work going ahead. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for your past service uh, in the House with Quad Pepper and your continuing uh, service in this uh, new capacity. And again, to the entire team at the Alliance for Aging Research. Thank you, sir. Thank you.